Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here and Black Ops 4 multiplayer is going to be extremely different. We already know this. There's going to be a lot of changes and things that Treyarch messed with that may throw off a player who's been playing Call of Duty for quite some time now. For example, one of the bigger changes is the health got increased to 150. Normally, we are used to playing on the health set to 100. Also, there is no more automatic healing. A player has to inject themselves with a syringe that will in return give you health. I honestly don't really like the sound of that idea however I feel that myself and you guys may find it a bit easy to adapt to but it will possibly take some time to get used to and uh, a user over on the infinite warfare reddit named 01918 found a way to kind of make infinite warfare play like black ops 4 in terms of the game settings so basically all you have to do is go into a custom game match you can pick whatever game mode you like it doesn't really matter on there but then you want to go under game rules and change the max health to 150. Now one thing to keep in mind though is the weapons for IW were built to match the given 100 health so maybe a bit more of an accurate representation would be like 130 because for Black Ops 4 the weapons they're, they're just going to do more damage since the health is obviously increased. For IW the weapons may do less damage compared to Black Ops 4 in order to compensate so I recommend doing 130 for the health uh, but if you want to keep it to 150 then go for it. Next up, you want to go to gameplay and disable double jump and wall runs. This will allow you to play the game boots on the ground. And then next, pick the Warfighter rig and then the trait resupply. And you're going to see why we chose these uh, traits here in a second. For your custom class, you can pick whatever weapon you like. You can use uh, any any gun, any attachment, doesn't really matter for that. But for your tacticals, uh, make sure you put on two nano shots. This will simulate the syringes that are in Black Ops 4. And since we chose Warfighter's resupply, that's going to give us the ability to get more nano shots uh, because we're going to be able to kill a guy then pick them up from their little packages off the ground. Keep in mind for Black Ops 4 though that there is a cooldown time when you uh, inject yourself with the syringe so it's not exactly the same uh, but definitely the closest thing to the game itself. Uh, now guys now that you have your settings all picked out you can hop into a game with bots or maybe you can invite some friends over, hold some scrims whatever you want to do is totally fine and uh, you guys can all kind of get the the feel for how Black Ops 4 is going to be played out. Now for me, it was a little bit hard getting used to because obviously I'm not used to, you know, worrying about my health. That's not really going to be a, a bother to me at the time, but now the health doesn't regenerate. So th that's something you want to keep in mind here because you'll see in the gameplay that I struggle at times remembering to inject myself and uh, finding out the right times to heal myself there. And I feel that's gonna be a pretty big challenge for a lot of COD players. They're gonna have to get used to that, like finding out the right exact moment to heal yourself and then jump back into combat, especially when it gets super, super hectic and you're trying to take on multiple players. Uh, but it definitely does make the game more tactical and I'm gonna be honest, more fun. Uh, but for right now, I'd like to talk about the game for a little bit because I know that Infinite Warfare did not really have the best of ratings from COD fans. Uh, but but I mean, personally, I feel this game wasn't all that bad considering how, you know, we got free DLC weapons, the game was heavily updated with content, the uh, interaction between the developers, like there really were a lot of good things Infinity War did right for this game. It's not the best cut in my eyes, no, but I don't think it's the worst either. Keep in mind though, my opinion is pretty unpopular, uh, but yeah, this game though, it, it didn't have the best of reviews, but there still were a pretty big, decent sized fan base. From time to time, I do hop in the IW Reddit to see what's going on over there, and uh, there still are some pretty frequent posts over there. Also, in terms of YouTube, I was doing pretty dang good in this game. Just last year, I, it was a pretty nice time for us small YouTube channels because a majority of the big channels, they did kind of quit on COD, leaving us small channels to gain some new exposure. I really do kind of miss this game and, you know, just hearing about the rumors and tweets of what Infinity Ward has, you know, cooking up over there this year, or next year I should say, they really do have me a, a bit excited for this game. Still looking forward to Black Ops 4 though, but definitely I am keeping in my mind Infinity Ward and what they have going on over there. So guys, that's all I had to say about this year's COD game and next year's. Again, I feel the biggest leap players are going to have to get used to is giving yourself more health instead of letting it automatically regenerate. But tell me how you guys feel about this down below in the comments. Also, drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy. And thank you for watching. Till next time, I'll see you later.